must I do to inherit? Because he missed the point altogether. When inheritance is given out, is it matter what I do that I receive an inheritance? No, it's who I know. I can't do anything to receive inheritance. If Theola, as Lord forbid, was dying and was writing her will, it's who she knows who's going to get her inheritance. It's not, I'm going to bribe my way into Theola's heart. And, no, it's who she knows, who she desires. Who does God know? He wants to know you. That's the bigger blessing. Not the crowns of righteousness, not the thrones in heaven. It's knowing God. That's the inheritance. The best inheritance there is. And it's all because of the Spirit of God within us. Because salvation is nice. But if we're doing nothing and ignoring the Spirit, you may have escaped hell, but you have not escaped hell on earth. Because you're still physically or mortally, fleshly dying without getting revived by the Spirit daily. You need to be revived by the Spirit, renewed, changing. Otherwise, you will shrivel up and find no joy in this life. God wants you to have an abundant life now. And that means by knowing Him and being changed by his spirit. His spirit is here for a reason. Are you listening to him? Are you talking to him? Are you enjoying him? And realizing through that, you are truly children of God who can cry out to the Father, Abba, Papa, Daddy. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, this is Pentecost, as you fully were, were known. We don't have to remind you, but we do want to remind ourselves. We are far from where we should be. We thank you for salvation and what Jesus did on the cross and how you raised him from the grave. We have accepted that, dear Lord, and you've made us new. Now, while we are new, dear Lord, we're a fresh seed waiting to be planted in your kingdom. We're no good unless we die to ourselves. We cannot die to ourselves without the power of your spirit. Help us, dear Lord, to die to ourselves so that a new life can grow and that be a blessing unto others. <clears throat> Otherwise, we are a seed that falls into a hard, rocky soil and does nothing. Except withers in the sun. Lord, we want to be more than the withering seed. We want to be a bountiful harvest because of your spirit. Help us to draw closer to you and cry out to you, Abba Father. Amen. Shall we all stand and